Have you ever wanted to learn how to program microcontrollers? Or maybe you've been thinking about building a little robot, like this one. Let me introduce a new circuit that can help you do both. This is my new Beeper Nano for the Arduino Nano ESP32. My name is John Rampelt, and I'm a mostly retired high school computer technology teacher in Waterloo, Ontario. I've been designing electronic and microcontroller circuits for my high school classes for more than 30 years, and now I'm sharing my circuits and lessons on my website at myrobo.tech. I created Beeper Nano to make it easy for beginners to learn microcontroller programming without having to breadboard any hardware circuits first. It's also a great circuit for intermediate learners to explore new programming and project ideas. Beeper stands for Beginner Electronics and Programming Educational Robot, and Nano refers to its microcontroller, the Arduino Nano ESP32. Beeper Nano takes ideas from my ARPS circuit for the older Arduino Uno boards and adds new circuits and capabilities that let you do much more with its newer and more advanced Arduino Nano ESP32 microcontroller. I first shared my prototype Beeper Nano circuit with other computer technology teachers at an educational conference this past August, and PCBWay sponsored the prototype circuit boards as well as provided some great swag for the participants of my sessions. You can find Beeper Nano 1.0 circuit board files in PCBWay's shared projects. I've made the Gerber files available there so that schools and makerspaces can order their Beeper Nano PCBs at the lowest possible cost. Let me show you how easy it is to order the circuit boards from PCBWay. After signing up for a PCBWay account, just click the Add to Cart button on the Beeper Nano project page to start your order. The order page lets you select the quantity of circuits that you need and choose your solder mask color. I like blue for Beeper Nano. After you've paid for the items in your cart, your circuit boards go straight into production. PCBWay is fast too. All of my recent orders have arrived here in Canada about one week after I placed the order with PCBWay. If you design your own PCBs in KiCad like I do, it's really convenient to use the KiCad plugin to upload both your circuit's manufacturing files and the bill of materials to PCBWay. This is great if you want to use PCBWay's circuit assembly service since they'll already have your board's parts list. Just click the PCBWay button in the KiCad toolbar and in seconds your design will be transferred to PCBWay. You'll end up at the same PCB order page we saw before, and you will be able to select your circuit quantity, the PCB materials and thickness, the solder mask colors, and more, and then order your boards. It really couldn't be any easier. Thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video, and for sponsoring the Beeper Nano PCBs for my conference. You made a bunch of high school computer technology teachers very happy with their new little Beeper Nano robots. When the teachers at my conference session received their pre-assembled Beeper Nano circuits, they could start programming them right away. That's because it has all of the common beginner parts on board. When people usually start programming an Arduino Nano ESP32, they have to build the circuits they need on a breadboard first. This means plugging in parts, looking up pin numbers, and tediously connecting jumper wires between breadboarded components and the Arduino before starting programming. For beginners, this slows down their learning of programming, and hardware problems can lead to all kinds of frustration. I designed Beeper Nano to be a better option for beginners, since all of the components and circuits typically used when starting to learn Arduino programming are already built into its circuit board. This means beginners can start learning programming quickly, and switch to more complex programming tasks without having to modify or rebuild breadboard circuits. Beeper Nano is designed as a modular circuit that can be built in stages, so learners won't even need all of its components to start programming. If you're building your own Beeper Nano, you'll be able to decide exactly which components you need to start with, or which components you need for the types of projects you want to build. Of course, you can add all the components to get the most learning opportunities and to have the most versatile circuit, but you don't have to. Let me show you what I mean. Here's a minimal parts starter configuration of Beeper Nano with just four push buttons, four LEDs, and a little speaker. It's inexpensive and quick for anyone to start learning microcontroller programming using just these parts, and with them they'll be able to explore input and output operations, if structures, loops, sounds, and many of the commonly used programming functions. Once beginners understand the basics and are ready to tackle more complex programming, it's easy to add more parts to Beeper Nano to expand its capabilities. This version has added an ambient light sensor, 
an analog temperature sensor, and two potentiometers to let learners experiment with analog input devices and signal processing. It also has four analog and digital I.O. header connectors and a quick connector to easily connect to external circuits or I2C modules. And its most advanced feature is this graphical LCD panel that can display status messages, variables, or enable more advanced learners to create user interfaces for their projects and even program simple games. Anyone interested in building a robot may not need all of the analog parts in the LCD, so this Beeper Nano has been assembled with a low dropout voltage regulator, a level shifter IC, and a motor driver IC. A header socket can be added so that an ultrasonic sonar distance sensor module just plugs in, and these optical floor sensor modules were snapped off the main PCB and populated with LEDs and phototransistors before being attached onto the robot chassis in their own little mounts. The floor sensor modules allow the robot to be programmed to sense the floor, so it won't fall off a desk or roll down the stairs, and the sonar module lets it find objects and keeps it from bumping into things. As you can see, Beeper Nano is an incredibly versatile beginner circuit that can be customized to create exactly the kind of project you want, whether that's a basic learning circuit, a more advanced learning circuit, an IoT or Internet of Things device, or a robot. Beeper Nano is controlled by the new Arduino Nano ESP32 microcontroller. Compared with the older Arduino Uno generation, Arduino Nano ESP32 is much smaller, runs programs way faster, has loads more onboard memory, and includes both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth radios for communication. It's also less expensive and more powerful than the similar wirelessly enabled Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi. But what I think makes the Arduino Nano ESP32 really great for learning is that it can be programmed in at least three different ways. First, it can be programmed exactly like a traditional Arduino Uno, using the familiar Arduino IDE and the C and C++ languages. Next, since it runs on an ESP32 microcontroller, it can also be programmed as a native ESP32 circuit, either using the Arduino IDE or third-party IDEs. The third way, and I think my new favorite way of programming the Arduino Nano ESP32, is by using MicroPython and the new Arduino Lab for MicroPython software. In comparison with C, MicroPython has a simpler syntax, lots of very capable software functions, and the benefits of an interactive command line called a REPL. That's R-E-P-L, which stands for Read, Evaluate, Print, and Loop. The REPL lets you interact directly with a microcontroller, both to input and view variables, and to help you when you're debugging. MicroPython programs also run directly inside the Arduino Nano ESP32 without compilation. This means that programs start to execute as soon as you press the Run button in the IDE, assuming you didn't make any syntax errors, of course. There's no waiting for a program to compile and download like when using C. It just runs. I think these three features, the simpler syntax, the interactive REPL, and the instant program operation make MicroPython the best choice for beginner education users. Now that you have a better understanding of Beeper Nano and the Arduino Nano ESP32 microcontroller, imagine all the ways it could help you learn or teach microcontroller programming and all of the amazing things you could make with it. One of my class favorites was having the students make robots. There's no better or more fun way to quickly learn and apply your skills than trying to program a robot to accomplish a specific task, like following a line, navigating a maze, or having a sumo competition against other robots. I wanted Beeper Nano to be the easiest beginner circuit that could be made into a multifunction robot, so I designed the 3D printable BeeperBot chassis for it to snap into. I also wanted everyone to be able to create their own BeeperBot accessories, so I shared its design in Tinkercad. Here's a quick look inside. Two small gear motors are held by special clips that click into place, and a rollerball caster assembly snaps into here. Drop in a battery holder, pull the wires through to the back of the chassis, and snap the Beeper Nano PCB on top. I've posted a longer video showing the basic assembly of a Beeper Bot chassis up here. After snapping in Beeper Nano, Holders for floor sensors, servos, wall sensors, and any other accessories are easy to add by sliding them into slots on all four sides of BeeperBot. It really makes building your first robot quick and easy. Beeper Nano PCBs and electronic parts kits are available now at the myrobo.tech website. By purchasing circuits and kits from the website, you will help to support me so I can continue to create and share more of my circuits and learning materials. If you're interested in seeing more Beeper Nano videos and programming activities, 
Did you know that you can program the YouTube machine using various buttons below? Of course you did. I can't wait to see what people just like you will be able to do after learning programming using a beeper nano circuit or building and customizing a robot using the beeper bot design. Be sure to let me know. Until next time, thanks for watching and keep learning.